done in one question. Let me just ask you one question. Because Christians don't worship Mary. Yeah, sure. okay. So, where, in my personal opinion, I think Muhammad probably travelled around around the Arab Peninsula, yeah, got yeah. an idea of, heard stories, yeah, yeah. and thought, okay, they believe in uh, the Father, Son, and Mary, basically, mm. not the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not mentioned, from my understanding, yeah, yeah. in the Quran once. Yeah, yeah. Now, where is? Where, if you can show me, fair enough, right? Yeah. But I don't believe there is there. So yeah. I think Muhammad probably heard all these stories, yeah. created a, a cult around him, yeah. to be honest yeah, yeah. with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then basically created the Quran. So you and think I Islam don't... like a cult, yeah? A worldwide religion. 1.8 billion people bro, bro, who believe in one God. Yeah. Just because... Believe in one God. <laughs> God. Yeah. One false God. Yeah. False God. Uh, by a false prophet, bro. One, one God. God. A false God. Yeah. And your, 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 your God, which is uh, one in three, buy yep. one, get one free. Hmm? One in yeah. three, yeah. Yeah. How does that work then? Explain it. One, can one who of wants us to take this one? Three, Carl? You have who, three, who, who wants to take this one? Mind, body, and soul. Yeah. Are you, when your mind dies, does your body stay alive? Like some people are brain dead, right? Does the body still there? They're, they're still alive. What about their soul? Is that still alive? And you even believe that when well, when you have a jihad? Me. No, let I'm but just let's let's giving you down those roads, man. Let's just answer the question. Never mind. Never mind. I'm answering the question. You wouldn't let me. You wouldn't let me. No, I'm just saying anybody. Okay, let's say me. Yeah, yeah. If I if I go in a battle and I let's say I'm fighting for Allah right and I die I go to heaven right how do I go to heaven I'm dead over here so this is your argument for the what Trinity? Do you mean that's your third argument. person of me. There's three, three of me. There's I'm a body, there's a mind, and there's a spirit. Clovers, yeah. where one, a clover is just one leaf, but he has three bloody thingies on it. Come on, man, explain. Wait, he he said, said, in his image. one human huh? being that's yes. his image. body, spirit, and soul. Yeah. Well, we're not talking about human beings. We no, know how we create. It. It. It, 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 it has, it has got straight off. I'm talking about God. You said, how can three? Is God like us then? Is he flesh, body, and soul? No, he's not. None of us believe. Which is why he is able to be trying. God yes. is one being but three persons. Amen. Do you understand the difference between person and being? No, I don't. Okay, I don't would you like I me to explain it to you? Uh, let's just get schizophrenic or something like that. No. How many personality? attributes does Allah have? How many attributes does Allah have? Allah has many attributes. Okay, how many, there we go. Are his body parts, his attributes. He does. What do you mean his body parts? Allah has body parts. Do you know this? You yes, he does. Yes, 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 yes. He does have body parts. Yeah, but we don't, know how, we don't know how. Well, you don't know how. Okay, no. that's fair enough. Then. We don't, say we don't how. know how the Trinity is. There we go. Hey? You understand how silly that is? If you are going to you criticize you apply the same theory. logic, you can apply it to you. you, you I'm going to apply no, that to you. No, you can explain do. Explain how God has do. a shin. Explain how God has a shin. I can't. Well, then why should we explain how God is three in one? Same why should we explain how God is three in one if you Don't can't explain how God is Don't if you can't take it back. No, no, it's, 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 it's consistency. Bro. you got to be consistent, yeah? Exactly. Which Islam is not. That's Islam why we're not Muslims. It's no, no, complete no, no, inconsistency. We don't believe that God has Islam. body parts as a part of his essence. He himself is spirit. And yes. He took onto himself the fullness of humanity. We don't Amen. believe he has yeah. always had a shin. Do you understand that? Okay, so explain explain to me the reason for Jesus coming down. Yeah, you're or changing the say, topic. Of sin. You're changing the topic. Yeah, I, I have to, man. I can't you just say, I don't know. Just if you say we, no, that, we just I, don't, I can't explain. Okay. That's fair okay. enough. We're not going to. We're not going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to. 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 So you're asking why God became man? God became a man in Jesus Christ to unite humanity to divinity and to pay the penalty for human sin so that we can be reconciled to God. Which Islam does not have. Islam does not have. We don't need it. We don't need it. So you don't have any sin? No, of course we have sin. So what, guess what we have? What? We, we have the ability to ask God for forgiveness. On what basis does God grant you forgiveness? From his mercy. Okay, if God, if a judge is about to sentence a rapist yeah. and he says, of my mercy, I'm going to let it go. Is that quiet? Is that a good well, I'm judge? I'm not talking about you asking me about God. And one of the attributes Who is the of ultimate God judge? is that he's the most forgiving. Agreed. Yeah. So why, why did he have to sort of turn himself into a man and then... He didn't turn himself, himself into man. He took on a human nature to okay. himself. He didn't he see... He he the body why did he have to do that? that why? why? Because... If God simply winks at sin, if God simply ignores sin, at, which is what happens according to you, just by being supposedly being merciful. Hang on, let me finish. Suppose it, sup any sin, just sin in. We are talking about all sin. Okay, human, human. We're talking about human sinfulness. Your God, according to you, who is not our God, just w ignores sin if he if you ask for forgiveness, right? If you ask for forgiveness from Allah. 
Exactly. Unless you've done shirk. If you've done shirk, that's yeah, unforgivable. Yeah, it's unforgivable. So can we be saved? Which is what you're doing. Can we be saved? No, no, no. Even if we become Muslims, which isn't going to happen, we will never be Muslims. No, no, no. Hypothetically, quiet. You can repent. But wait, shirk. From your unforgivable sin. Yeah, it's no problem. Are we associating parts of Allah when we say Jesus is God? As long as you're alive. And you repent to God, He is the most forgiven. So the Quran is wrong then when it says that committing shirk is unforgivable sin. No, no. Allah said he, he forgives Allah will all not sins. Shirk. Allah also don't take parts of it. Allah says He forgives all sins. Yeah, but He also says including he shirk. shirk. Yeah, but shirk, you can repent from it. How do you think uh, a, a Christian becomes a Muslim or a it doesn't, it doesn't happen? No true Christian would embrace the lies of Muhammad. There you go. There you go. There you go. It's a contradiction you know I mean? in your Quran that Allah says He forgives all sins, but also says He won't forgive shirk. He's That's telling, a yeah, and He's telling the people right. that. This this uh, uh, this sin of shirk, yeah, he will not forgive sin. on the day of judgment. So okay, if you right, die, right. So if you then. die as a person who committed shirk, well, then it doesn't matter. Then you then uh, you then why is there any worse than any other sin? But if you're alive, eh? because you've associated with God. But if he's I can, the only according one, to you, I can he's, just, he's the only one who created. Wow. It makes no sense in describing it as an unforgivable sin if Allah forgives it. No, of course it does. Of course why? it does. Allah is the most forgiving. If I say you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So today you're worshiping. Jesus, yes, and we tomorrow we want to God. you want to repent and say, I, I, I realize my wicked ways, and I want to uh, the way, the a way to salvation. Say, as soon as you become mm, a Muslim, all your right. sins are forgiven. And then then Allah will forgive the unforgivable sin. No, no, He didn't say He won't forgive it. He won't forgive it on the day of judgment. Those who committed shirk. He says it, Allah they will died, not forgive those who they, 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 they died upon that, upon that I sin. I don't think you understand. I understand completely. Sure, they died Allah upon is an that unforgivable sin. sin. No, if you, die upon that that sin, if you die upon that sin, no, you will not be forgiven. It's a massive cop out. No, massive cop out. No, no. It's a terrible cop out. It's quite, it's quite, it's quite, anyway, uh, you were asking why did God become a man? I'll tell you. If God just winks at sin, as he does in Islam, when you ask him for forgiveness, then sin no longer has any meaning. Sin isn't sin no, no, if God no, no. doesn't Islamic, say... Uh, are you going to interrupt me or are you going to let me answer your question? Tell you what we do, let's just do one minute each. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, we'll, I'm just we'll, saying. See, we'll see if that's necessary. I'm just saying that in Islam we, we have a day of judgment, we have a heaven let's and do we this. have a heaven. Yes, and if you and ask for forgiveness... by disbelievers and sinners. And if a, yes. if a believer so asks Allah for forgiveness, what happens to their sin? If a believer, you, a Muslim, asks Allah for forgiveness, what happens What happens to their sin? Should we do this Should we do one minute? Oh, it's okay, it's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll come to that. Way. Allah can decide that you're going to, you're not going to go to Jannah. He can, he can do Allah, that. Allah is, we but, all rely on the mercy but, of Allah. But, but, even but then your salvation is not known. You don't know if you're going to go to yeah, Jannah. Exactly, it's not known. This no, is true. But know. this is, but, 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 but no, no. more on the point. If, Why do you need to know? And who, who's according to you, who guarantees you, guarantee you uh, salvation? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Christ. Hey, this is we a have a, we have a, a, this is a cop out for you guys. You know what it is? You're just projecting. You guys, you guys, you guys just want to do your sins, do whatever you want to no, do. We don't. And say, uh, no, we don't. No, we don't. Jesus died for me. We, we, we fight our sins. We, no, that's not true. <laughs> this is what Muslims do. They misrepresent Christian doctrine because they don't understand it. If they do, they become Christians. Deus Vaults. Deus Vaults. Deus Vaults. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Truly risen. Now, to answer your question, according to Islam, God just lets your sins go if you ask for forgiveness. All right? No, he doesn't. Uh, that's not a cop out. It doesn't. Our uh, God doesn't do that because he provided an offering. They're not, they're not, they're not letting me answer the question that I asked him. No, I'm not. I'm giving you the way to salvation, which Islam is not. What's I the said the for accepting you the, uh, your uh, forgiveness. Sure. But if you receive forgiveness, if you receive forgiveness from Allah, He just lets your sin go. Correct? You guys for if you if you take the steps, the steps will make the sin with you yeah. as a human. And if that happens, how am I gonna put myself as a judge on myself? If if you ask Allah, if you ask Allah for forgiveness, He just lets your sins go. Right? In Christianity, we don't believe that God just lets our sins go, okay? Because God provided a way for our sins to be taken upon himself by the incarnation of his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus' death on the cross is an atonement, a sacrifice for our sin. Sin is no longer sin if the debt for sin is not paid. If a judge just lets a rapist go, then, ra then from the perspective of that judge, 
Rape is meaningless. In the same way, if God just lets sins go without providing for his justice, then sin is a meaningless concept. That is not what God did. No, to God give said, my son, said, as you believe, you yes, to get the punishment. You're only telling half the story. God did, God did give. I'll tell you. God did give His son. But the son willingly, that's the key thing, he willingly gave himself over to death on the cross for the sins of the world to pay our debts. So yes, it is justice. But the son, as you believe, say, it is not my willing, it's my father willing. Okay, that's a fair question. And Alex, I'll give you the answer. Jesus was fully human. That means he had a human will. He had human fears, he had human pain, he had human anxiety. And that, in his self-emptying, in becoming incarnate, he sometimes allowed that will to override the immediate control of the divine will. That is part of his surrender to death. He had to fear death. He had to experience the pain of death. He had to experience our death, which is the penalty for sin, in its fullness in order to take that penalty so that we do not need to take it on ourselves. human like a prophet, like... Yes, Jesus, Jesus was fully human. That is what Christians believe. Yes, but he is also fully... He is also fully divine. He is more than this. But he didn't say he was just a prophet. He said, he, I am the Son of God. He said, I and the Father are one. And his immediate disciples who wrote of him, you can, you, you can scoff at it all you want, but you'll answer for it on the Day of Judgment for following a false prophet like Muhammad. Died. You accept that he died? No, no. But then you're disagreeing. You're disagreeing with what he himself said about himself and what his earliest disciples said about him. He said, "I am." When did he say that? Where? How, how was he? How he prayed? How did he pray? He prayed for who? He prayed for all his all those who would follow him. If you, if, if you believe he is a god, yes. How he prayed for for personhood and person personhood and being. I'll explain it if you don't. What's the meaning? Personhood is what makes you who you are. Being is what makes you what you are. God is one being. There is only one God. There is only one divine essence of God. But that being is shared by three persons. The Father, the Son. No, you believe, you, you, you smirk at it, but you follow a prophet who, who didn't even read. I'm not, I'm not. So I'm just believing like following like blind. I have to think. You understand me? I have to think. So what if you think, why do you accept Muhammad who came 700 years after Jesus and claims to be following the same message as him and yet contradicted him? Because all, everything he brings for us is like a miracle and uh, all his ma uh, manners and duels and duels. Say that again, I can't hear you. Take us only the pure human, pure. Pureness, our pureness. Who is pure? Lead us, lead us, fitra, fitra, like uh, the, like child, uh, like a baby when he come, come to the life. Is pure. Who are you talking about? Pureness, this pureness lead you only to one God. Agreed. That's it. So why you say one God shares in three, one, four, five? Because that is what God has revealed about Himself in Jesus Christ and through the sending of the Holy Spirit. One God revealed in everything. Us. Agreed. And you. And that, and there is a sense in which that is true, but that's not the sense in which Christians believe that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Don't just judge the God as He revealed Himself, like in just three things, or limited things. You understand me? I'm not. Yes, and I don't say that God is limited. If that's what, if, if I've understood you correctly, no Christian would say God is limited. So you. I don't know. What I'm not sure I understand your point I'm making. The point I'm making to you is this. Jesus and his earliest followers all taught that he was divine, that he was the son of God who had come into the world to save sinners. Sun like what? Sun like... 
According to what? Like, a God has a wife and no, that's a common Muslim misunderstanding. When we say that Jesus is the Son of God, we absolutely do not mean that Jesus is a created being. Hang on a second. We absolutely. You want to come in on some other? We can say servant. Exactly. He was God's servant, but he was much more than just God's servant. When we say that God, that Jesus is God. What do you mean more than uh, servant? Jesus was not just a human servant of God. He was God come to earth for our salvation. Does that answer your question? He came, up, yes. he came to be your substitute, the substitute he, of man. He came to take your sins yes. into himself and die on the cross to pay the penalty for those sins. When you stand there in court, every time you stand there in court, brother, what, what? do you need? Every time you stand there in court, yes? What do you need, my friend, by, by side you? Say that again. Every time you stand there in court, what do we need? I'm in Yes, that's right. Which is what Amber Heard and, yes, and, and also Johnny Depp have right, right now. They have right there in their corner. They're not fighting by themselves, are they? But a criminal. Like, let me say, like you are big mafia, and yep. you all power and everything, and no power can stop you, okay? Uh -huh. you go to the judge, the, our normal judge in this life, yep. he can say, I'm going to forgive you, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to punish only my son, mm -hmm. or my servant, over, as you described. Okay, but if the son, the judgment, if the son, and, and, and if you escape from the judgment, in this life, yeah. So the justice, uh, according to the God, you're gonna, you have to believe in another life. Or yep. Hitler is uh, the angel. Well, Hitler is almost certainly in hell. But that's cut. That's besides the point. That's it. I'll answer your question. You've misrepresented, possibly unintentionally, but you've misrepresented what Christians believe about Christ's death. We do not believe that sinful man comes to God and God just slaps the sin onto the Son without the Son even getting consulted on the matter. Okay? What we believe is that God the Son willingly stepped in to say, I will take this punishment, this judgment, this sentence, death, death on a, even death on a cross, into myself so that justice can be met for the sinner. One second, please. So this judgment, as you believe, yeah. is like a cover for us to do what we like. No, we no, don't no, believe no, that. No. It is forgiveness so for what our is sins, what, not... What, what, one second. What Say again, brother. It's a question of love. Indeed. We don't believe that Christians... What make you stop lying? What makes you stop... Love for God. Stop and his punishment as well. You have to fear no. and love. No, we do not fear. We Christians, Christians do not fear God's judgment because it was put onto us, onto the Son in our place. Who created you? you we, God. God, okay. Who know, mo who know you more than anyone? God. True. So, who create you? Who is the most knowledge? Know you? Know you more than anyone? God. Oh, it's a God. It's a creator. Okay. Okay. So, according according to you, psychologically, uh, psychologically, okay, the human have like desire and fear. Yep. Two ways. Yep, that's correct. So, sometimes desire in lying. Or yeah, going through bad ways or something. You understand yeah. me? So what make you stop going through these ways? That's a fair question. Only the love? What? Only the love? Yes. The love make it's, we don't. So Christians. Walk in let let me ask, brother. Let me answer your question. Brother, let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. It's, are you going to ask a question and then not let me answer the question? Are you going to? Are you going to let me answer your? Are you going to let? Are you going to let me answer your question without interrupting? Okay. Christians do sin, but we do not desire sin. If we what? Human do sin. Yes, that's what I. That's just what I just said. I agree. Yes, Christians are human, and therefore we sin. That's not a, not a distinction that anyone here needed made. But okay, Christians being human, we still sin. But if we are true Christians, and through faith and at our baptism, we have had the Spirit of God dwell in us. We no longer desire to sin, and so we fight it. We don't always. Hang on a second. We don't always win that fight, but we desire the fight, and we desire to be pure and holy. 
if someone claims to be a Christian but treats the death of Christ as, as you say, a cover for sin, and they go and steal, lie, fornicate, cheat, whatever, and say, oh, it's okay, I can do whatever I want because the Son of God died in my place. They are not a true Christian. They do not have the Spirit of God dwelling within them, and they have not been saved and will not be saved at the Day of Judgment. As you said, as I understand, I understood now, so the human is a God for himself inside, as a spirit from God. You mean no, that? Christians, and only Christians, not Muslims, not, mem not atheists, not members of other religions, have the spirit of God dwelling within us. But we are still distinct persons and beings from God. Why you judge yourself? between you and yourself inside. I don't follow, what are you saying? Why you judge yourself? I don't judge myself. Yourself. Do you judge yourself? No, absolutely not. I'm not sure what you mean by judging ourselves. What do you mean? Like you you said now, I like, uh, I'm like. i choosing not following this way because I'm, the, the, the soul, the yeah, I am doing my best not to sin. I'm failing, but I'm doing my best. Accor according to what? What is the cri criteria for? Uh, one's will and disposition. If a Christian truly wills to fight sin... And to lean. Say again? To lean on John chapter 14, verse... John 14, verse 15, which speaks, If you follow me, Jesus said, You shall what? You shall keep my commandments. If you love me, yeah, you shall keep my commandments. Yes. If you love me, you shall keep my commandments. Not worship me. If you, if you love Actually, it says that his earliest disciples... As you follow Prophet Muhammad, yeah. If you love me, yeah, who, who was a, a pedophile and a slaver. Following, a following is like teaching. Someone teach someone. You understand me? No more than this. We, no more okay, can say... Which is, which is the one where... That it's Matthew, isn't it? It's that some... They... Uh, bear with me while I find a scripture reference that responds to exactly what you said. We've got past the report of the guard. I want you to check. Okay, brother, read verses 16 to 20, uh, yeah, 16 of verse 20 of the Gospel of Matthew. Read it loud. The book of Matthew, verse 16, 20 speaks. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. What did, what did they do to him? What did they do? They Say again. Worshipped they worshipped him. him. They didn't just but follow some him, doubted. they did follow him. And Jesus came to him. But they worshipped him. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Lord, who has all authority in heaven and on earth? According to you. Who has all authority in heaven and on earth? Is it Allah? Is right. It but Jesus, in the Gospel of Matthew, says, All authority on heaven and on earth has been given to me. Which means Jesus is God. I can give you proof against this, what you say, from the Bible as well. Go on. Please. Yeah. Go ahead. Yes. Oh, one, one second. It's ready anyway. We're waiting. We're waiting. You want to finish the verse in the meantime? Because it's beautiful. Okay. 19 onwards. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Father, and, and, the, of the, Son, and, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. you can read and behold, it. I am with you always. You can You're, read welcome. It. You're welcome to read it yourself. Is, 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 is uh, New King James? Yep, version. that's a good translation. Yep. Okay. No evil shall fall you, nor shall any plagues uh, come, Plague come near your dwelling. Yep. New dwelling. I know this song. I've memorized shall... it. So. So I fail. I fail to see how it's relevant to the deity of Christ. It's not. It's not. What, what said, point from this? No evil shall befall you. Yep. Is, uh, is this against crucify? No, because Jesus will. The crucifixion was not something that befell Jesus. Do you know? No harm. Maybe. No may, harm. I don't want to patronize you. Maybe it's the no language harm. barrier. But do you know what the word befall no, no. means? Befall means that by chance, by bad luck, something or bad favor, something bad should happen to you. To keep you That's not. To God bless you. you. Take to, care. To keep you in all your ways. Yes. In their hands they shall bear you up. Lest yes. You dash your foot against a stone. Yep, we believe that. Okay. We also believe that Jesus exactly. willingly submitted himself to death on a cross for the sake of the man's sin. And our salvation from that sin. That was done, my friend, to build a bridge. Exactly. Yes. He took your place, my friend. He and even so, no. and by the way, and just for the record, just for the record, you're assuming. This is not justice. I, no, I never accept. How did you accept do someone you really, pay? Do you, do you really pay, think you deserve it? Pay your do you, do, sin. Do you, do the you same way that the same way that the same way that I could accept someone paying my bill at a, in a restaurant or a bar. It's that simple. No, no, no. That meaning, you're gonna asking, you're gonna asking 
God, the true God, the only God, mm, Jesus, forgiveness, <laughs> for yeah. forgiveness you for come you. To know it. Yes, you understand me. Yes, that's it. And if you want the reality, try to read about the beginning of the creation. Yeah, we do in the Bible, uh, not how, in the Quran. Do you have in the Bible? Yeah. Do you want to read, read Genesis, brother? How, how, how is Adam being created? Out of the dust of the earth. The dust of the earth. Yeah. Okay. So, what is his enemy? Say again. So, who is his his enemy? Okay, good, thanks, brother. Who is whose enemy? For Adam. Uh, Satan. Satan. Yeah. Okay. This Satan is not just in oh. as a, a subject or. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Satan. Oh. Satan is a real person. We believe that. He's a real per yeah. person. He appeared he to Muhammad. I grew up in Pakistan, I read, I know Adil Kursi, I know, like, I, I grew up, like, studying Islamiyat. He knows okay. quite a lot. No, 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 no. It's not about, uh, you, now you're Christian, yeah? No, Thanks be to God. I was born Christian. Born a Christian, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, what do you know about uh, Islam? Islam? Uh, because you judge Islam as a okay, Christian, let me, let me tell you as we, uh, we follow shaitan. You, you do understand? follow yes. shaitan. I yes. don't say that to be disrespectful, I say that because I want you to be saved. No, no, yeah. no, no, yeah. no, no, no. Not intentionally. We just talk. Yeah, okay, we're just talking. Okay, I'll, I will because, talk to you. Because you know what's the meaning of shaitan? Yes, the enemy. No. What do you think it means? His teaches. His teaches is arrogance. Tell, tell me something. Why do you think Islam is true? Religion of God. Why do you think it's true? Of course it's true. You have to read to know. I can tell no, you if you want. No, no, Islam no, 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 no. is Islam is true because it's true. Is that so? We've done it. Can you do yeah. that? We've started it, yes, and expressed. Sorry, yes. We've done it. Yes. Why? Yes. Why Christianity is true? And yeah. Why Jesus is the way no, no, and truth not, is the life? No, no, no. Can yes, you just you give me that, that question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. I'm here. To That's a very good question. Listen, Can you give me that one? It's your job to do it. I do it. Okay, do it. Please tell me why we believe only in one God. No, no. Please tell me why I should be a Muslim. Please. Muslim, Why should I be the only Jesus was a Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> you don't oh, realize how silly that sounds. You know, you know I, I have a proof. Okay. Uh, okay. For okay. Oh, go on. So, <laughs> one second, one second. He's going to talk about Jesus making prostrations. I, I, I tell you oh, a proof, yeah. many yeah. proofs, yeah. many, yeah. many proofs yeah. about yeah. why yeah. Islam is the truth. But the thing I tell you why. Let me talk, let me talk, please. You ask me, you said for the not for why Jesus is Muslim. I don't, I tell you. Muslims believe in all in all prophets. How many prophets do you know? 114,000 prophets. We believe them. That, that's ridiculous. Okay. We believe who? All, all of them. Okay. We believe the unseen, even the unseen. The angel. Did you see the angel? Did you see angel? I've you see never angel? seen. I've never knowingly no, seen no, an angel. So that's fine. You're not me Muhammad the, didn't see an angel either. He saw a demon. We believe in this. Okay. And we believe in. Uh, so that's why I should become a Muslim. What's the and dawah? All books. No, because you don't believe Nezar, the, the writings Nezar, of the Nezar, early Christians Nezar, who taught that she... Change it. Nezar, Who? Change it. Who's, who's not, Nezar? Not the changed one. Not, not the, the, the changed one. Well, which books, have, one. Which books have been corrupted? Okay. Which books have been corrupted? Still, still, still Hang on, I'm going to hoist teachers. him on his own petard. Yeah, still have some teachers. Is good. But the change in Aqida, you know Aqida. Who says that the Bible has changed? Who said it? Who, said it? Okay. Who, who changed what? Who, who changed what one books? Second. One second. Good question, good question. If you want to know the God, all this universe will lead you direct to the, the real God. I, don't, I believe in God. Why, Why I should I be a Muslim is the question. Not to believe in God. You're a Muslim if you believe in one God. We're not Muslims. We believe in one God. We reject Islam. We, re we, we disavow Islam, but yet we believe in one God. If you believe in one God, yeah. you have no wife. No son. We don't believe he has a wife. no partners. We don't believe he has a partner. We don't believe that. You don't understand That's what Christians okay, believe. Listen, we don't listen, believe I'm that God tell has you a wife or a right partner. Do you have a body, mind, and soul? Yeah. Okay. Which one is you? Is your body your body, or is your mind your body you, or is your soul you? Brothers, I'm going to let you have this conversation for a few minutes. Wasn't the most uh, coherent? Wasn't wasn't the most coherent conversation we've had at the park? <laughs> so be it. Which, probably my fault as well. But Islam is not a coherent religion. Absolutely not. Islam Absolutely cannot not. bring you salvation. Islam will not lead you to God and to paradise. And this no is why. Because if God simply forgives sin, if God simply winks at sin as the Muslims believe when they ask God for forgiveness, then sin has no meaning. The very concept of sin is meaningless if God just ignores it when you ask him to. 
but that is not what Christians believe about divine mercy and forgiveness. Christians believe that God provided a substitute to take the punishment, the consequences, the death, our human death, into himself in order to take our place, in order that God can overlook our sin without violating his justice. Islam does not provide for this, and therefore Islam cannot bring you salvation. Which Christ, is why, my friend, my friend, which is why, yes, in Islam, Islam has no savior, does it? There is no savior there is in no Islam. Savior, which is why you need a savior there in your corner. Correct, for you. correct me if I'm wrong, but savior is not one of the 99 names of Allah. <laughs> I don't feel <laughs> correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not recall it being. But then, when we come to the name of Yeshua, when we come to the name of Jesus, what does, what it, does it mean? What does it mean? Alex? It means Yahweh Stay is safe. savior. Hallelujah! Amen. Christ is ascended. Praise the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Alex.